What is going on YouTube? What is going on internets? This is Eric Techstuffs back with you again. Of course, we did fill in all the holes on the back of this and did label it up. So our first hole is our S meter tap off. Our second one down there is our CT CSS tone encode injection. Second down here, or third rather, is our talk back course I didn't use the D78 clip I'm using something a little different so I'm gonna hope that works out really well and down here is an IF tap and we're gonna use that in the future for a pan adapter because yes if you have an ICOM or anything with a waterfall on it uh, yeah you definitely miss that on radios like this so that will be done in the future but uh, let's go ahead and flip that over real quick so the other side of the board doesn't look that much different. Uh, just a couple extra wires running to the back side here. We still have, uh, where is that? D78 still installed and everything else like that. We are wrapping up on this, but yeah, there is uh, all the connections there. And uh, we have everything put in place there. And talk back switch. And everything there so as of right now I have to go ahead and uh, cook some barbecue <laughs> so uh, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and leave this radio as it is of course with this um, IF tap that I have here I probably will change out with an SMA connector uh, instead of using the uh, three-quarter inch jack that's just to fill the hole at the moment but otherwise, yeah, we do have everything ready. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty nice, but it's a lot of work to be able to bring it up to snuff of a new modern export radio. But yes, you can do it. It just takes a lot more time than just go ahead and click the uh, buy button on a Striker 955. But you got to bring these radios up to snuff as well. If you want to use these on 10 meter repeaters or do some other stuff with it. But uh, yeah, new guys get spoiled with the uh, Striker 955 because it kind of has everything in the box that we have ha had to deal with in the 80s, 90s, and 2000s to get it that way. But yeah, the old PLL 02A chip will still live in infamy as the best freaking chip right there mass produced and uh yeah clip of wire and snip and boom you're gone you're gone on the upper bands on so many of those radios that are produced with that but uh yeah this uh ranger 2950 at the moment we're going to go ahead and put this together and uh, put the covers on it and i will test out the talk back and everything else in another video but like i said i gotta go cook some barbecue before it rains again, it's been terrible weather and it's kind of chilly and uh, stormy in South Carolina. But I do appreciate you stopping by real quick. We will go ahead and talk about this. But yes, this will work for any of the uh, 2900 series. Uh, 2950, 2095, base, mobiles, all of them. To do all the stuff I just did right here. Very simple, very easy to do. More than happy to share with anyone that needs it. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of all very easy and very simple. We'll be back in another video. Let me go get the uh, ribs on the grill. Or in the smoker, rather. Sorry. 73's Eric Texas. We'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.